So do we need to have Docker in that picture? Uh, not necessarily. The Docker is still the default engine when deploying and running Kubernetes. And to this day, it's still the, the simplest one to, uh, to deploy just because it's like it's been around forever now. So uh, uh, everything is kind of uh, designed around it. But we could also use other container engines uh, like Rocket or any uh, runtime supporting the CRI, the container runtime interface. So the CRI is a kind of API, and as long as a container engine supports that API, then it can be used with Kubernetes. And now there are like uh, uh, many more CRI runtimes. I've just listed Cryo and ContainerD here, but there are many others. In practice, um, it's we, we will still need Docker somewhere. So here, for instance, we needed Docker in the beginning just to run containers locally, like on, on a single machine, uh, and to build the Docker images. Um, so it's still really helpful to have a Docker engine somewhere. Um, but what I see, like in the uh, in, in the future, is that we'll probably still have Docker locally, just because the developer experience is great and it just works. But on our clusters, we may or may not use Docker, and that's going to be a decision just of the ops team, and it, it won't make a difference for us. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, um, we won't use any, well, much if any Docker commands. Uh, we will only interact with the cluster using the, the kubectl command line. Um, so if these clusters were using something else than Docker, it wouldn't make any difference for us.